What's up everyone? My name is Lehua and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a variety content creator and today we are going to review comics. I love to read comics. I love to watch anime. Those are the things I do in my free time if I'm not doing anything else. The comic we are going to talk about today is Ranker Who Lives a Second Time. I read Scanlation and I like to go to mangahere.online and this is one of these stories that I look forward to reading. It is a Korean comic which is also called a manhwa. The story is sort of like an RPG but it's not an RPG. The, it's a popular thing that's been going on especially with Korean stories where it's in our world. It's in our world and for some reason some circumstance regular people like us are brought into a rpg world a role-playing game world and what happens in rpgs is the protagonists the characters they start at the bottom and they go through experiences like fighting and such they gain experience which they apply to their skills they gain skills so everything they learn, everything they acquire, they level up, the person level levels up. That's an RPG world. It's where a person can improve and it shows results. Another story that's super popular right now is Solo Leveling. People have been comparing these two stories, Solo Leveling and Ranker Who Lives a Second Time. A lot of people have been comparing the two. Some say that Ranker who lives a second time copied solo leveling. And I can see why people did that because they are put into RPG themes and the protagonist is leveling up quickly and at a great pace, very exciting, but there is a difference. And I'm going to explain that in Rinker who lives a second time the story is and i'm not spoiling this is not spoiling because this is the first chapter i'm just going to explain the first chapter to you guys so we have a protagonist it shows that his brother died and it seems like it's his twin brother they don't even explain that either but they show it they show that they look similar so he discovers his brother is dead and what happened was his mom was sick she died the brother was missing and he left our protagonist left uh to be deployed in africa he's in korea he got deployed to africa and he comes back to korea and he finds out that his brother is dead his brother had possessions he left it with his brother with our protagonist our protagonist let's call him protagonist for now and he finds a pocket watch this pocket watch is what he what our protagonist gave to the twin brother the brother's name is Jung Woo Cha Jung Woo Cha that's the name and he's like reminiscing about this pocket watch and all of a sudden all of a sudden he gets bombarded with memories information things he's never had knowledge of things he's never experienced and it's all of his brother's memories somehow his brother was able to put memories and thoughts like a diary into this pocket watch and our protagonist he's learning what happened to his brother why he was missing for so long and it's so sad because the brother went to this RPG like world being told that his wish can be granted if he completes everything, completes the levels, completes the whole dungeon. And the brother was doing that because he wanted to find a cure for their mom. He was looking for a cure to save their mom. And while he was gone, the mom died. So it's like, oh my gosh what so anyways our protagonist he's getting all these memories it turns out that jungu cha he was betrayed he did all this work and he was betrayed and that's how he died our protagonist is like oh hell no i'm gonna go to that dungeon area 
I'm going to take vengeance. I'm going to take vengeance for my brother. Who went there. He sacrificed himself to save our mom. And the sad thing was. Jungu Cha. Had a feeling he was going to die. So in the pocket watch. He left a message for our protagonist. He left a message saying. If you get this. That means I've died. Please go to the dungeon. And get the elixir to save our mom. So I was like. <gasps> so it's like. Oh, shit! Man, it, it hits you in the heart. It hits you in the heart. The so Jungu Cha left that message for our protagonist, and our protagonist is like, loving, so upset. And what's interesting is all the experience that Jungu Cha experienced in the dungeon world, the RPG world is transferred to our protagonist now our protagonist doesn't start with high levels no 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 he starts at a low level he starts from the bottom but he acquired all the knowledge he acquired skills from chungu cha now the skills he doesn't get them automatically he has them but he has to unlock them so he actually has to reach that level where that skill can be unlocked he has to meet requirements he has to finish West, which is which are the requirements so that's what's interesting because when he goes into the, when he goes into the dungeon he has a plan now we got to remember he was deployed in africa he is experienced in war in combat he has natural skills he has skills that he's already honed on his own in our regular world so he can see his agility his dexterity his senses, they are phenomenal already for an average human being. Bring him to an RPG world and he can heighten those senses, those skills, those natural ability he has. Dang. It is exciting to see how he hones those skills, how he utilizes our regular bodies and makes it stronger. And a lot of times in RPG stories, games, people acquire magic. Our protagonist, he's actually putting all his experience into his natural skills, which is speed, which is strength, which is his senses. He's putting it mostly into that and not so much on magic, which is interesting because normally people would be like, oh yeah, give me that magic that will help me do that one hit. I want to be powerful. He's like, no, I want to improve what I have because that's what I know. I'm not going to try something new, relearn it. I'm going to improve what I have already. So the reason why I keep calling this character the protagonist is because we didn't get his name yet. And when he enters the dungeon world, the RPG world, he enters it saying, I am now Jung Cha. Meaning he took in his brother's name. That will indicate to us readers what the title means. Ranker who lives a second time. That would mean that our protagonist is going into the dungeon as his brother. He's going in as his brother. That is what it means by Ranker lives a second time. That's where it confirms that they're twins because when... Our protagonist enters the dungeon. He wears a mask. He is hiding his face. He's hiding what he looks like because when Jungwoo Cha was in the dungeon world, he was famous. Everyone knew who he was. Everyone knew what he looked like. So our protagonist has to hide his face because if people saw him, they'd be like, hey, aren't you so-and-so? So he's being very sneaky about it. He's doing that whole tuxedo mask thing. Like in Sailor Moon, that whole hide behind the mask. You don't know who I really am. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Later on, he gets an alias name. He calls himself Kane. C-A-I-N. Which is interesting because Kane is a name of a brother in the Bible. Kane and Abel. Anyways, anyways. So because Kane, we're going to call him Kane now. Because Kane has all the knowledge from his brother, Jungwoo Cha. He knows that it's really important to 
build up the skills in the beginning of the dungeon in the first level the first tutorial this is actually called a tutorial so that's how it's like well this is really like an rpg because if you play role-playing games for the first time there's always a tutorial always they will explain everything if you skip you can skip thank god you can go back to men but I'm, I'm going off topic let's let's stay on topic so he's going through the tutorial and he knows that he needs to level up and level up his skills in the tutorial part and what's interesting is i feel like he finishes the tutorial and then he meets a merchant and the merchant's like oh all these skill points that you got you can use it to buy something or you can buy these other things which will give you benefits and one of them is to restart restart the level restart the tutorial and kane's like I want that and he makes sure he makes sure that he can keep whatever skills skill points he already got and whatever he gains builds up on top of that and so the merch is like yeah you can do that so Cain did that I think he did that multiple times so he leveled up everything as much as he could and it showed he had results so a good example is he went through the tutorial he was getting hit by arrows getting hit by spears he's like dang i need to work on my speed so with his skill points he was putting it on speed and when he did the tutorial again he's like oh i can feel my body moving faster it's lighter wow i'm dodging this really well so we're seeing results and that's quite exciting. It's like subtle results. It's not like, bam, look at this. I'm kicking ass. It's like, oh, look at that. Look at my moves. It's more like that. That's how the story is. You keep seeing Kane just improving everything. And he's going through areas that he has knowledge on. He's like, okay, I need to do this quest so I can get this item. I get this item and I absorb it once I absorb it I'll be stronger once I defeat this monster I'll get more skill points and I can apply those skill points to this skill to this technique and then he goes through areas where okay I need to defeat this monster so I can get this item I need to do this quest so I can do another quest so I can do this quest that will lead me to the top quest which will help me unlock this other quest. It's like, it's amazing seeing him go through the whole system, trying to work the system. And that was his thing. His thing was, my brother Jung Woo Cha went to dungeon to get his wish, to get his wish granted. He followed the rules. He followed the system. And what happened? He was betrayed. You know what? If this system got my brother killed, I will use the system and take revenge that was his thing he's like you know what f you guys you try to cheat the system i will follow the system and beat your ass i like the theme of vengeance it's very satisfying i like the theme of justice very satisfying as king is completing these quests getting these items gaining these experience, applying it to his skills. He does meet people. And the way he interacts with them is, okay, I am just working on my own. I got my own agenda I need to do. So thanks for the offer to join your party, but nah, I gotta do my own thing. And later on, he has to interact with them and they're in trouble. He's like, okay, you're in trouble. I'm not a bad guy. I will help you. And just the way he's so straightforward, he's so set on his goal that he won't let anything deter him. He'll only offer help if it lines up with his goal. Which is interesting because after they say thank you, he's like, mm, whatever, it was on the way. I didn't do it for you. I was like, I was in the area, I might as well have done it. That was his attitude, but you know he's a good guy. So we're seeing him improve, we're seeing him show his power and there is a section where the system asks, Ooh, would you like to register and brag your ranking? Because he's 
he's leveling up his rank is getting up higher and higher and people are able to put their name and brag about it kind of like when you're playing an arcade and you can put your name or initials next to your score and the higher your score the higher your, your rank is that's how it works and he's always putting himself as anonymous so i'm excited for the time when he finally puts his game and surprises everyone right now at the point of the story i'm in he's rank one and he's still anonymous no one knows who he is not even his enemies these enemies are part of guilds and they're trying to recruit Kane, but they have no idea who he is they're like hey join our guild you have skills you would benefit to be with our guild and he's like eh, i'll consider it because remember he is wearing a mask they don't know what he looks like and he's like eh, i'll consider it yeah maybe and in his mind he's thinking how can i use this to my advantage should i infiltrate or should i just work on the outside and attack you don't know what he's going to do he will do as much as he can he can if it helps him reach his goal it's it's just so exciting to see what's going to happen next because it's not really predictable you kind of know he's going to do kind of don't like you know he's going to take revenge on his brother but you don't know how and i thought he was going to be merciful in some sections nah man he is cold hearted he is straight to the point and i think it's because of his time in the army when he was deployed in africa that was like a war zone area there's no mercy there's none and so it's just amazing i'm so excited for the story i am excited for the next chapter a lot of stuff has happened and if you want me to talk more about it like do some updates on the story Rinker who lives a second time let me know in the comments if you want me to talk about the comparison between solo leveling and Rinker who lives a second time let me know in the comments let me know what you think and if you have any questions if you want to talk about this more i also have a discord the discord link is available in the description below so if you want to talk about it let's talk about it. dm me i like to talk about this stuff i can go on for hours and hours and that's why i'm doing these comic book reviews not even comic book just comic reviews comic and anime reviews because I talk about these things and I might as well talk about on YouTube, right? And thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Lehua. This is the Superfina channel. I am a variety content creator. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe so you can be notified on the next video. I also do other stuff too. I do games, products, I stream, I make candy masks. Like I said, I'm a variety content creator other than that thank you for watching this video again i will see you guys later bye hey you are still watching this video that means you liked it so don't forget to give it a like and while you're at it subscribe ring the bell so you don't miss future content the superfina channel also has a patreon and channel membership my Patreons, channel members, y'all are the bomb. Thank you for all your support. Here is a link to the Patreon if you want to support too, and a list of social medias. All the links will be available in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I have much love, much aloha for y'all, and I will see you later.